Hey, hi there, Leo. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for March 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Leo, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Oracle deck, Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Three of Cups, Leo. Water energy. This is a card of shared experiences. It's a group experiences. It's friendships. It's cooperation. It's celebrating. It's great rejoicing. It's fun and it's ritualistic. It could be celebrating some kind of positive growth pattern. It could be a a romance, an engagement, a marriage. It brings in healing and abundance, cooperation with others. It's enjoying the moment. It can be a stronger commitment between two people, a circle of friends, reunions, a happy occasion. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. And this can be an obstacle to your forward movement. The Five of Wands, Leo, fire energy. This brings in shifting vibrations, uncertainty, unrest. All fives are pivotal turning points. This is a competition. It can be friendly rivalries. It could be a competition in social or career areas. It's new factors that are coming in that demand that you change, adapt, and grow, and you might have to put in some more effort to keep what you've already gained. This can be mediation, a challenge, a struggle, petty obstacles and annoyances, short-term difficulties in communication, but once they're, once they're overcome, it can change things for the better. There can be conflicts. It could be clashing of egos. It's holding your position within drama. The Three of Cups with the Five of Wands is a friendly competition that is, could, you know, it's healthy, but in excess it can lead to unnecessary drama, people being jealous, and can lead to confusion. This could also be the host or the center of the party or group. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Seven of Wands, Leo. This is the card of the lion heart, someone's Jupiter in Leo, in Leo. Yeah, that's right. No, Mars. It's Mars in Leo, the lion heart. This is standing your ground and defending what matters. It's reaching a new level, and now the shoe is on the other foot. This is victory through courage and success against opposition. It can be competition in business or trade. It's you're on the top and you want to stay that way. And you'll beat down all problems. And you have courage in difficult situations. This is the excitement of conflict. It can be discussion, wordy strife, business negotiations, war of trade, or barter, or competition. It's being ready to face challenges. And you will stand your ground and fight for what you believe in. And your determination will overcome all obstacles. It's taking a stand. The Three of Cups with the Seven of Wands is taking a break from friends to recharge your batteries. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Knight of Swords, Leo, Air Energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter... Now, this air energy is bringing in, this is rapid energy. It's a swift and rapid development, coming or going of a matter. It's movement and action, speed, swift action. It can represent someone that's headstrong and impatient. They can be overly aggressive or argumentative. Or it could be some message of a bad news. It could be coming in at a bad time. It could be some kind of mental conflict or differences of opinion. It could be unwanted news. It might bring in drama. It might be able to unavoid things. Uh, this is rushing in. Someone has a thin skin. 
This is the speed at which debate can change people. This is someone that rushes to judgment. Opposition makes them try even harder. They're opinionated. They could be trying to win an argument. Double talking. They might need to listen before they charge in. can also be sudden changes. It also can be um, communication, coming or going, back and forth, quickly, like text messages, emails, voicemails. This is someone that could have been overly blunt with someone who is sensitive, or it could be news at a bad time in an inelegant manner. This person is driven. There may be unreasonable demands coming. The Three of Cups with the Knight of Swords is defending your beliefs in a group setting, its friendships and action. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Eight of Cups, Leo, water energy. This is a card of an emotional turning point. It's the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. The cups have not fallen, so there's no disaster. You know it's just time to move on. This is a shift in someone's life from being involved and in doing things with others, and now you need some quiet and a chance to be alone. It's following your dream. It's, it's okay to start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal. The cups. It's going with the flow. It's following the flow of energy. Not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. You know what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. Something that was once important is no longer important. The Three of Cups with the Eight of Cups is leaving the group behind to find happiness. It can be friendship disillusionment. It can also represent overindulgence. The Five of Wands with the Seven of Wands is keeping a distance and maintaining control over your own personal space. The Five of Wands with the Knight of Swords is harsh words. This can be a radical power struggle. The Five of Wands with the Eight of Cups is walking away from competition and struggle. It's leaving behind conflict. Seven of Wands with the Knight of Swords is standing up for what you believe in. It's fighting for what you believe in. The Seven of Wands with the Eight of Cups is walking away from stress. The Knight of Swords with the Eight of Cups is impulsiveness and disillusionment. It's swiftly walking away. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Card number 23, Leo. Suffering from your divine teachers. Suffering. Accidents. Sickness. Trauma and betrayal. An important part of being human and something that can't be avoided is the pain that comes from simply being vulnerable to the physical world. Your divine teachers warn you that you're facing such a time. Sickness may be at hand, and accidents, trauma, sudden loss, and injury are all potentially around you. Whether confronted with something severe or just the ongoing struggle of getting through the day, your physical body may be challenged, and the pain and suffering may follow. This isn't meant to scare you, but rather to warn you that you're not as grounded as you should be. In fact, you may be attracting injury or drama to gain some personal space. Your divine teachers advise you to be open to the fact that any pain or upset you attract isn't without hidden gifts or opportunities. Your broken leg or aching back, for example, may provide the much-needed rest you wouldn't otherwise take. Your runny nose and cough may give you the privacy you need to regenerate your spirit. It's also important to note that any pain or drama you attract isn't greater than your ability to handle it. The greatest upset you face might actually be in trying too hard to avoid pain, which in the end may cause even more. In other words, the fear that you won't be able to abide any discomfort is far more disabling than anything you might actually incur. In accepting the upset of the moment with grace, you'll gain wisdom, compassion, and strength. Your divine teacher's message? Embrace and be patient with your pain. It will bring insight and understanding, and in time, peace, and you will heal. Thanks, you guys, Leo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.